do you believe that Kamala Harris should be the first U.S. woman president? What I do believe is she was not the Democratic Party's first choice. As a woman or as a president? As a human being. <laughs> <laughs> as a human being. I, this, is, this is not disputed. Mm-hmm. It's a it's hundred days before the election. Do you realize that? Like, only fucking coups change power like, like power like this and political power like this. It's a hundred days before. <laughs> the unfortunate truth is she was not the Democratic Party's first choice. And that led to my reasoning as far as why is the vice president not the first choice? Is it because she's black, which I don't think it is, or is it because she's useless? The latter, allegedly, people of America. And by the Democratic Party finally backing this woman, they now kill those arguments. I think it's 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 the Democrat the Democrats are so desperate just for some good energy. I mean, you heard she's got a theme song now, dude. And it's better than Donald Trump's theme song, dude. No way. <laughs> Some people on last week's episode were upset with me mocking the song. And grow up, okay? You know the what theme it's just song. done and is it, when it's it was, done is, right? It, dude, but it was done by Beyonce. Who else? Beyonce's got, she got a theme song by Beyonce. Beyonce like was like, gag business, use it, dude. At the end of her speech... And like so this track, like freedom. Nah. I was like, yo, this chick is fuck. What? Freedom, freedom, I can't move. Freedom, cut me loose. <laughs> she, she just it's hit the nail on the head, and she just got Big Daddy Obama's endorsement. He endorsed Harris, and as democratic as the Democratic Party is, you all know that. Uh, so there's no choice in the matter. She is, <laughs> she's the person that the money's gone behind. I mean, since she announced that they've raised over $120 million or something crazy. They have not. Come on. In a couple <laughs> of days, raising $120 million. That means Dude. half the, that means a third of the population has to give Kamala Harris at least $2. It's possible. Eight- Trump, Trump did 70 million in one night. This is this the way that I see it is there's been a huge exhale in the Democratic Party and the Democratic side of things as far as oh god okay we have a chance we like you know it's one of those like you know with in dub and dubba <laughs> where Jim Carrey goes up to the the chick and he's like what do you think the chances are of uh guy like you and a girl like me ending up together and she's like one in a million and he's like so you're telling me there's a chance (laughs) and I think that's been the Democrats moment this week like there's still a chance. Yes, yes, it's, yes. It's our fifth choice, okay? And we we it, we made it quite public. It's our fifth choice, but we have a chance. And I, the way I see it, we now have a race. I personally think. Okay, you tell me, dude. Who wins in a debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris? Yeah, Donald Trump's definitely got to have a better strategy when he's talking <laughs> to Kamala. So, yeah. from, from the perspective of that, uh, Kamala might take him on board with the debate. However, mm. in saying that, this is the best entertainment in the world, bro. Like, everybody's grinding on this fucking wish that something's going to happen here. <laughs> um, but I don't... Like, if, if, if I was a betting man or a predictive man, I don't mm. see her being the first woman president for some reason like there's just something mm. inside me that says mm. i don't think so even with the democrat machine that has just been thrown hook line and sinker behind this woman mm-hmm. and even, even though she has she has no military tactics and business savviness behind her to like basically 
calm down tyrants, um, be diplomatic in many senses from a business mm. perspective and a governance perspective. So I think she's really smart. Um, mm. But I think, I think from my perspective, she'll be too eager to pull that red button on something that's probably not as big as she thinks it is. Mm. And you think one of those being uh, funding to Israel? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip from the OG session. For the full episode, visit the It's Friday Forever YouTube channel. Whilst you're there, subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you're notified whenever we drop new content. And I'll catch you in the next one.